library was the first place I found that was quiet. You know, when you grow up with nine people and TVs and radio and brothers making a lot of noise, I was astonished at that there was a place that there was a rule you had to be quiet and that the light was beautiful and the furniture was made for children and that there were easels to put your book up on. It was the first time I found uh, a room of my own uh, that was made for thinking and for the imagination. So you can imagine that it meant a lot to me to go to the library. It was uh, finally a place where I could um, feel that I belonged and in a way that uh, Maybe sometimes children feel a little bit displaced with their surroundings. I felt like that in Chicago. But when I stepped into uh, our library and saw the big French windows and the beautiful glass block floors and the quietness of the space, I, I felt at home. My education in Chicago began in public schools for the first year and a half and then we switched to Catholic schools simply because the neighborhoods I grew up in uh, required us to go to school to have a little more discipline. Um, I think that uh, my education was rather spotty because we moved a lot and there wasn't any continuity to my education so sometimes I would be with one school uh, where classes were doubled up and overcrowded and then we would switch and go to another school and I had to catch up with progress in the last school. So, you know, there, it, because of that uh, disruption of my education, it really depended on what teacher and what school I was at as to how well I did. And uh, by the time I got to fifth grade, I had a report card that was full of C's and D's, but I don't remember uh, being a poor student, I just remember being frightened in that class and uh, never knowing where we were when the teacher called on me. I remember that it was a class that was doubled up with two grades. It was overcrowded. Probably the teacher had to take care of too many students and do too many things with too many different levels. Maybe that's why I was distracted. Uh, and it was only as an adult looking back that I saw my grades were that poor. Um, I do remember that was the same year that uh, I was asked to bring my mother to school and the teacher complained I was a daydreamer. Mm -hmm. Which now I would think, yeah, that's a great thing, but back then it was something to be ashamed of.